Welcome to our short overview of how to control arc suppression coil, also known as Peterson coil, with our user-friendly REC 640 protection and control relay. REC 640 introduces an entirely new application package concept by offering a variety of ready-made application packages to choose from. Let's have a look at one of the packages, Peterson Coil Control. You can enter to the Peterson Coil Control by tapping the symbol on the single line diagram of the local HMI, and the dedicated page for the Peterson Coil Control will open. From this page, you can first of all see the resonance curve and the operational point of the Peterson Coil within the resonance curve. From the same page, the second window, you have the possibility to check the fault current estimation curve, which shows the estimated fault current in the fault location. The third window in this page is the statistics window. Within this window, you see some statistics regarding the Peterson coil operation, resistor control, as well as the earth faults that have occurred in the network. These statistical values will aggregate according to control actions as a result of the changes in the network. Let's go back to the first window, the resonance curve, and choose controls. There are two possibilities for the control, manual mode and automatic mode, which means that the functionality in the relay will automatically control the position of the Peterson coil as per the preset parameters. Automatic would be the normal mode of operation, but let's take a look at the manual mode and confirm the selection. Now you have lower and raise buttons for the Peterson coil. In this case, you can determine that the coil is a bit undertuned compared to the resonance point. When you raise it up a bit, you can see from the resonance curve that the actual operational point will get closer to the resonance point. It is also possible to control the additional load resistor manually. Let's close the switch connecting the resistor. To learn more, go to our webpages or watch our videos on our YouTube channel.